Hello and welcome back to the channel. I have another devlog for you today. In my last devlog, I talked about a challenge that I was in put on by another YouTuber slash game dev by the name of Xander Wood. It was a lot of fun and that's why when I was approached by Mr. Xander Wood himself again with a new challenge, I gladly accepted. And this time it was five devs make one level each of one game or one central game theme. The theme was our main character crash lands on an alien planet and has to find all the ship pieces to build his rocket back and make it back home. We were given a character sprite and his animations, but everything else was up to each one of us individually. We could take this in any direction we wanted to. I'm gonna quickly run you through the process I went through to finish my game, and then we will play the other games in sequential order after that. So before I get started, there will be several spoiler alerts, both in me describing how I made the game, as well as playing through the other games. So if you have not played any of these games, I strongly encourage you to pause this video, go play the other games, links are in the description below, and come back and finish this video because there will be spoilers. Let's jump into my process first. So we had seven days to develop our levels. On the first day, I started sketching out some ideas. My art skills are incredibly bad. Later on, decided to color it in with colored pencils just to make it even worse. I had this idea of a drone following the player around. Originally, the drone was going to be there to help the player as you progressed further in the game. This was going to avoid having to give any type of tutorial or instructions on how to play the game. I started to give my drone mechanics, and yes, this is what the drone looked like when I first started out. But once I had everything figured out art-wise, I began messing around with different ways to have the drone follow the player. I wanted the drone to float, so I implemented two separate sign behaviors, one going horizontal and one going vertical. The movement was exactly what I wanted, but then I tried pinning the drone to the player and it really just kind of broke everything. So I thought about having the drone follow the player the same way the camera follows the player. And in my last tutorial series with the Mega Man wall jump and wall slide, I used a LARP expression to get the camera to follow the player smoothly, taking out all the jerky motions. So I worked around with it and well this is what I came up with. If you guys have a need for the effect that you see in this game with the drone, this is how it's done. Feel free to play around with these values and see how you can manipulate it to do what you want to do. Keeping in mind that I did rename the sign behaviors and that is important to note. So this really took up most of day one, trying to get this drone to do exactly what I wanted to. And at that point, the fact that it took up an entire day meant that I was going to have to center a lot of the game around this drone mechanic. I knew I wanted my main character to shoot, and I started to think, why have this drone follow the player if he doesn't really do anything other than talk to him every once in a while? So I decided, let's make the drone fire the shot. Right away, I noticed that each shot was going to fire from a different location because the drone floats. And I never even thought about trying to fix that because I thought that was instantly a new mechanic to the game. You're not just going around jumping and shooting things, you now have to take into consideration where your drone is located floating above your head it adds a whole new timing to how you face off with enemies inside the level. So consider it a happy accident. I liked how it turned out and that was the end of day one. Yes, I designed this myself. You can tell by looking at it that the artwork was done by me. This one got put together pretty quickly. I wanted something that kind of represented what you would see in a tower defense game. Something that stood in place and fired automatically, did not react to the player other than taking damage. It's on a timer, it shoots a grenade in one direction, turns around, shoots it in the other direction, turns back around, 
and just loops that way. Both the art and the coding went pretty quick on this. Then I started working on a second enemy. Again, as you can see, artwork definitely done by me. This one took quite a bit longer to code. In the beginning of developing this enemy, I knew I wanted it to have different states. And by states, I mean, I wanted it to be able to shoot at the player. And then I wanted it to stop shooting, close up in its little ball, and then start rolling across the screen, following the enemy along for a certain amount of time, stop, open back up, and then shoot towards the enemy again, and just repeat that sequence of events. So I programmed each one of these individually, and then set up some debug controls to test them out. I made some animations and then coded the enemy shooting and then separately coded the enemy closing up in a ball and then separately coded the enemy rolling around and so on. And each one of those movements were assigned to a different key on my keyboard for debugging purposes. That way I was able to control each state of the enemy's movement by pressing coordinating buttons on my keyboard. I put it all together and set up some conditions that would trigger each state. This was my first attempt at enemy AI, and I think it works out pretty well. It took me well over a full day to get everything working how I wanted. So that puts me at somewhere around three-ish to four-ish days, at which point I figured I need to start laying out a level to make sure I have all the pieces I need to complete this game. I designed the level first on paper and then kind of copied it over onto screen. I started implementing these parts of the level where I wanted checkpoints and I also needed points in the level where I didn't want the player to be able to go back. So every once in a while you'll see platforms or drop-offs that are too high for the player to jump over and go the opposite direction. And you'll see those periodically throughout the map. I also put enemy placement into effect at that point as well. I wouldn't fill in the tiles until really the last day. So once I had the level laid out and two enemies created, I started working on a third enemy or this one's more of an obstacle. And these are boulders that fall from the sky or the ceiling because you're in an underground facility. And to achieve this, I set up these triggers and I gave them all instance variables so that they would only trigger once. And then I made a function that would call for this avalanche of boulders. I set up a loop that would call for all the boulders to be created at a random distance from one point to another. And a little bit later, I implemented a particle system that looks like uh, rock dust falling from the ceiling right before the boulders fall. That way it gives you an indication that something's coming. You know where the boulder's going to be, but you don't have long to move out of the way. And then I try to add some randomness so it's not the same predictable fall each time. To get the boulders to bounce, instead of using physics or something like that, I found out that giving them a platform behavior solved every problem I was having. In fact, I use the platform behavior on just about every moving object in this game. And somewhere around this time, I also started working on both the title and the intro to the game. I knew I wanted a cutscene coming in to try to help explain the story and get things set up so that the player can just start playing right away. This is not the ideal way to create a dialogue system, but I started to run out of time so this ended up being how it's done. It works, it just could be done a lot more efficiently. But I was happy that everything worked how it was supposed to, so I moved on. Then came the boss battle. I'm on about day six, maybe getting close to the end of day six, when I finally started putting in work on the boss. I didn't really have any ideas going in until I started messing around with a few things. I came up with, I believe, six different attacks, and in the end, only three made it through. And I did this the same way that I did testing the rolling droid enemy. I made all of his attacks into different states. I made all of his movements across the screen into different states. I assigned two number keys on my keyboard and I would play the game and control the enemy or the, the alien boss with the number keys on my keyboard while playing as the player. 
I was able to see how the boss reacted when going into each state. And I started adding effects. I put a multiply blend mode and a warp effect that is called when the alien moves across the screen. So as for the states, the first state was the alien waves, which meant all of his different attacks, the bouncing attack, the droid attack, and the rocks or the boulders. This wave was called when it was time to figure out what his next attack would be, which was done with a random expression that chooses each attack randomly and waits for it to be done and then calls another one. The other states were the alien floating, which happens in between attacks. And this is actually when the next wave gets called. And the floating state is called when one of these attack states finish. And the other three states are rocks that fall from the ceiling when he shoots a droid out of his mega brain. And the other one is when he moves to one side of the screen and bounces his way across to the other side. The only thing I had left was to make the ending. I created a little cutscene to go along with it, a little more really bad art. It's not a perfect game by any stretch of the imagination, but I'm just really happy with how it turned out. So again, if you have not played any of these games, take a moment to go play these. They're all free. They're all fun. Okay. That was the process that I went through in a nutshell. And now, we are going to start from the very beginning and play everybody's game. So let's get started. All right, first up we have Xander Wood himself, the curator of this challenge. Created level one. You have crash landed on an alien planet and your rocket ship is scattered into pieces. You must collect the missing pieces of your ship to take another step closer to home. Be careful, danger lies around every corner. So this is the beginning of our game, and we got links to the other devs games. So once you get done playing with this one, you can just click into the next game. Ooh, warning, warning, engine failure, abandon rocket ship. Repeat, this is not a drill, abandon ship now. Oh, very cool. Awesome. Uh, I don't like the look of this place. I need to find the missing parts to my rocket ship quickly so I can repair it and get off this planet. Wow. A very abrupt beginning. I like it. Immediately we're into the action. I believe I just got my first ship piece. Got a little slime looking guy down here. Okay, these are ledges. Those are not. Oh! What is... Oh, that is so cool. Quite satisfying, too. What's this? How did the rocket part get all the way up there? Oh, I like that. Nice little cutscene. Okay, more of jumping on these guys. Oh! Well, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, we are back at the start. I do not like the look of this place. No, it looks like where I died before. Dang it. All right. We got us a ship piece. Got little bouncy slime guy down there. And I'll let you live for now. Okay, let's make sure we check this. Okay. And... Bouncy? Bouncy? Okay, he didn't kill me. Can we go? Oh, cool. Very cool. Hmm. Well, well. I guess I'll go this. Oh. 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 So I was on it for a second. I guess you fall through it, kind of like a uh, like a tightrope. Maybe if I run real fast. No. Nope. Um, let's try jumping. That does it. Gotta jump across and bounce on these guys because they're there. Why not? That is just very satisfying. I love that. 
All right, we have two ship pieces. <laughs> That's too cool. Can I use them to get back up there? Oh, oh, okay. Jump, 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 jump. Nope, can't go up. Oh, oh, okay. Looks like a little bridge or something. Well, well let's go down. Hmm. I thought maybe you could get up there. Oh, there's a little ledge. Oh, keep jumping, keep jumping. Oh, come on. Why am I having so much trouble? Let's start from this end. Oh, look at me. I am a pro gamer. And there's nothing up here. <laughs> I take back what I said. Oh, there's the other piece. Okay. It, w wait, what is that? Sure is dark in here. Oh, yeah. Is that a clue? I don't know. No! I died! Oh, no! I don't like the look of this place either. Oh, I had two ship pieces. I saw the third one. What's back over here? I keep seeing this. It's a whole nother level. What's this? This planet sure is weird. Everything is 2D. <laughs> Fair enough. What have we got over here? It's a strange lever. Maybe I should pull it. You should always pull strange levers. Um... Hmm. What's this? Looks like a gun. Press control to shoot your laser. Oh! Nice! They have a gun! Now what did that laser... Oh, I bet that laser... Did the drawbridge thingy. Okay, there is piece one. As enjoyable as it is... To bounce off of those guys, it is just as satisfying to shoot them. That is too cool. The sound and those particles. There's our drawbridge. Nice. Uncharted territory. There's our other piece. Oh, I hope I didn't need him to bounce somewhere. Okay, we got all three pieces. There's us an arrow. Cave entrance, do not enter. Uh, no, I'm going to enter. I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa. All right. Level complete. Next level is blank dev. Awesome. I love it. Uh, next up is level two or step two. We collectively agreed on five steps from home and each level would be a step. So the title and the level numbers. There you go. All right. Five steps from home is the result of five developers who plan to make a level or step each for a game with a common story about our hero that finds himself stuck on an alien planet without a way home. After a crash on an alien planet, the player needs to find all the pieces to repair the spaceship and make their way back home. Step two is a dreamscape with a mysterious talking environment. You must use your wit to overcome the puzzle that lies within and solve the riddles of the land to progress to the next step. I've also submitted this to Weekly Game Jam 179 as... Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Oh, I love it when it works out like that. All right, in collaboration with... And there's all our levels. Cool. I don't see a full screen feature. No. That's cool. We don't need no full screen feature. Let's just go ahead and start. A trial of perspective lies ahead. Pay close attention or you'll end up dead. Find the code and type it out. Capital P there. All in quest of your final bout. You may be in for a surprise. Another capital P. Hmm. Now... 
Open your eyes. No capital P. Ooh, very pretty. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Player learns in constant struggle. No kidding. To wake yourself up from this pain, your memories you must regain. I like it already. I love putting that pixel sprite into a 3D game environment like this. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. Wait, sorry, wrong game. <laughs> These coins are just for show. What would you use them for anyways? All right. <laughs> Three candles, the power of the firefly runs within us. Careful, we bite. Ooh, intriguing. Okay, uh, let's go up the stairs. There we go. All right. Uh, I really like, I, I like this pixel sprite in this 3D environment. It's really cool. Deja vu. Have I been to this place before? Listen well and listen good. You just conquered a Xander Wood. Oh, it's his level, okay. It's a screenshot of his level. I get it. Look at the big brain on me. What is this place of disaster? The walls could really use some plaster. Is this a hidden philosophical debate? Should art determine a game's fate? What is the truth through all this tension? Blank can't build in the third dimension. <laughs> I really, I like this. I like this a lot. It's such a vastly different game than the first level we played. I really like that. Oh, here's another screenshot. This place looks so cold. Is this my future foretold? On ice, I lose control. My feet like lead. They feel so much dumber. Unlike the last day of summer. A new foe, enough to fill my heart with woe. Free yourself from this spell, capital P. For up next comes a frozen well. Okay, yeah, that's the next level. Frozen Well Studios made level three. Locked door. You have found the end of the road, but the password you must still be showed. For this realization so profound, all you must do is turn around. Uh, a curious jug. Don't look at me for the answer. You will have to be a chancer. I'm just a simple jug and you are but an 8-bit thug. I promise you can solve this yourself. I pray you can solve this. Ooh, capital P. Or else. There's a lot of peas on the ground, too. A lot of pee on the ground. Uh, oh. If you press the P key, we see step. Is that step? Is it? Uh, oh, this is probably the password. Uh, did, did I miss some stuff other than the capital P? Uh, just taking a look around. Nope. No. Um, hello? Anybody in here? Nobody answered. Okay. Uh, back up the stairs. You have found the end of the road. Okay, this is the same same dialogue, right? Okay, P, capital P, capital P again. P's all over the floor. 
I hit P and it turns around. Oh, to find the answer. So that's it. Oh man, I feel like a genius or the opposite of, okay, that's a five, not an S. T E P. I got it. I did it. I am a pro gamer after all. Um, hey, Mr. Curious Jug. So my journey is at its end. A new beginning I must attend. Prepare yourself for this door. You have new adventures to explore. Did we beat it? I beat it. All right. <laughs> All right. Man, I feel like an idiot. Uh, very cool. Very uh, creative, different from, from level one to level two. Very creative, very cool. So we can move on to level three. This is from Frozen Well Studios. I've been following him on YouTube for quite some time now. And this is his third level. We got our links to all our games down here. Very cool. Let's play. First, let's go check out his itch page. All right, five steps from home. This game was created over a week for a collaboration challenge with four other YouTube game devs. I do remember talking in Discord to all these guys, and I remember Frozen Well saying he was wanting to create something that was inspired by an old Nintendo game called Akari Warriors. I loved that game when I was a kid, and we instantly found out that we were the two oldest people in that Discord server. Okay, let's see what he has to say. The backstory is you have to collect rocket parts to allow your escape from the planet. We all use the same player character, but apart from that, had no other constraints as how the level looked. And I think that's one of the coolest parts of this challenge. Thanks for pointing that out, Richard. In my level, you have to fight your way to the end of the level, be awarded up to three rocket ship parts based on the score that you achieve. Very cool. All right. So again, completely different game than the first two. WASD, control to fire, 1,000 points, one ship part, 3,000 for two, and 4,500 for all three. All right, let's go back and play this. All right, uh, there's our little cave. I assume that's where we came from. All right, cool. And we go, oh. Oh! It is just like an old Nintendo game. You get hit once, two, three times, you're dead. Uh, okay, I gotta pay more attention to my health bar up there. Oh, you know what else? It's... Ow, I died again. Better luck next time. Well, thank you for the encouragement. Uh, another way that it's a lot like Akari Warriors and, and Nintendo games around that time period was the fact that once you move past a certain part of the screen, you can't go back. Uh... I am not very good at this. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think maybe I need to use two hands instead of trying to do movement and shooting all with one hand. Well, a little bit better, but I'm also almost dead. Uh, can I get those guys? Nope, they're gone. See, it works way better. I just use WASD with my left hand and use my right hand to fire. Oh, ambush. Oh, I have no health left. I'm dead with one hit. Okay. What we got up here? Is that so close? You won two parts. Oh, okay. So I must have got over three thousand points. I didn't even notice how many points I had. Okay. Okay. I gotta stop rushing so fast upwards. That is definitely. 
part of the challenge because if you just run through it, you don't get any of the enemies. You need the enemies to score the points, so it definitely encourages you to stick around and fight. Can't leave anybody behind. Oh no, I moved too far up. I don't know how many of them come back into screen. 4,000, 4,000, okay, 4,200. I need 300 more. I need two more. I'm just shooting down, hoping to get an enemy down there off screen. I don't think there are any. Oh no. No, I was so close. Anything over here? <laughs> oh no. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna we're gonna do it this time. Okay. This is the hard one. Man, I am a terrible shot. So much for pro gamer status, huh? I'm sure most of you thought that I was anyways, right? Oh no! 4,000. I need 500 more. Die, blue thing. Die. Oh, it does work. Oh, they're worth 500 apiece. We won. Congratulations. You won all three parts. Now on to the next level. Awesome. That, that was actually a lot of fun to play. A nice little arcade shooter game that uh, I am too dumb to figure out. <laughs> uh, very cool. Okay, we are up to level four. All right, five steps from home. Step four. There's the link to all our levels. Very cool. A little something about this title page here. I don't know if you noticed this artwork. The look familiar I posted this in the discord server and he took it upon himself to implement this into the game which is really cool okay credits Xander Wood organizing the collaboration and level one blank dead level two frozen well and then Marlin also thank you to these people for music and participating with some props art uh, looks like we got us a nice little cutscene. Very cool. Brr. It feels cold. Nice atmosphere. It has suddenly become quite cold. And what is that luminous tower in the distance? Looks like someone or something might be there. Wonder who though. I've played enough video games in my life to know that is where I need to head to. Wait! I first need to recover the last three pieces to re reconstruct the ship. Oh, I think I see something. They appear to have landed on those three little isles. How convenient. <laughs> I think I can exploit the temperature to slide across the lake and get all of them. The ice looks thick enough not to break under me. Okay, I've made up my mind. Let's go. Oh, cool. And here we have another 3D game. And a frozen lake. And oh, okay. I slide. To, it's a slide puzzle. Nice. Really, this atmosphere that he's created makes it feel cold. <laughs> oh, some cool stuff underneath the ice. I wonder if that's artwork or... Oh, this is back to the beginning, right? Yeah, this is the beginning. Uh, I wonder if that's just artwork or if those are clues underneath the ice. 
Okay, this is where I was before, right? I need that. That looks like a ship piece. Whee! Huh. Man, this is a really big area. It creates a lot of... Oh my god, I'm back at the beginning again. Uh, it creates a lot of different possibilities, doesn't it? I'm going to have trouble with this, aren't I? Okay, I don't think I've been this way. Uh, all of the options lead to going out the left side. Okay. Is this back at the beginning? It is. That This is the beginning. <laughs> okay. So that didn't work. Let's go this way this time. I already am disoriented. I feel like I've already gone this way. I might have. Oh my God, this back at the, the first move, the beginning, isn't it? Yep. Well, pro gamer status at it again. Okay, down. And this looks awfully familiar. No, this is the beginning again. No. <laughs> So you have to go this way and then up or down. We went this way before. Was there another way? Nope. This is where it forces you to go left. Okay. And then you end up right back at the beginning again. Okay. Hey, we found a ship piece. All right. Now I have two ways to go. Oh, that's terrible. Let's go up. Go back this way. Oh, cool. Really uh, cool art, too. I mean, it looks pretty uh, simplified, but I think did a good job on creating an atmosphere. Um, I don't like the fact that I'm not any good at slide puzzles. Hey, another ship piece. <laughs> okay, look, we're two for three. Man, okay. Maybe I'm getting the hang of it. This all looks kind of new. Ooh, this is a new path I haven't seen yet. Oh, I haven't seen that island. Of course, I can't get on it either. Can't go anywhere there. Oh, this guy's swimming this way. That's got to mean something. Oh, hey, there's the island. Cool. Uh, can, can we, no, no, I want to get over there. Why won't you let me over there? Why won't you just let me do what I want to do? Oh, a new place I haven't been. Hey, I found it. Okay, uh, all missing pieces found. Get over the lake now. Okay. 
Let's go this way. Up. Oh my god, I finally found it. You have successfully completed level 4. You are very close to completing the game. There is only one level left. Click here to play the final level. Thanks for playing. Oh man. Wow. That gave me such a hard time. <laughs> a very cool game. Yet again, uh, played four levels and all four levels were completely different games. And I enjoyed every single one of them. So. We have those played. We have one more, the final level. And I'm going to leave that up to you to experience your own playthrough. It is my level. Go play it if you haven't already. And tell me what you think. And again, if you have not played any of these levels, please go play them. They're fun and free. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and the playthroughs. I will leave links to everyone's games and their YouTube channels down in the description. Be sure to check them out. They also have devlog videos up on their channels about this challenge. And if you're not subscribed to this channel, now seems like a perfect time to do that. And to all the Construct Free fans out there, new tutorial coming soon. I hope everyone is staying safe. That's going to be it for me. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.